prospect is strong government leadership. Since the 80s, top government officials, including President, recognized the importance of e government. Second, average of 1% US dollar 3 billion of the total national project was invested in government construction project every year. Next fact is IT governance. As far as supervisor, commit direct on the president or prime minister. Assign the CIO for central and regional e government and creative dedicated support structures. Sorry. Next factor is change management of public officials in a change in government environment. Outcome issues such as public officials fear of workforce reduction due to e government and resident in using information system through sustained change management. Next phase is a technical support, utilization of specialized e government technical support agency. Close. Collaboration with experience system integration conferring and specialized solution vendor. Last fact is the dynamic and creative of Korea people. At the inception of the current age, new IT technology and device, including smartphone. Creative sophistication to cope covers information technology, digital, and sensitivity culture around. Next part is the president, Mr. Cha, who is a principal manager at the specialized government agency for e government in Korea. And Mr. Dai will explain about Korean first project and its future strategy. Thank you very much for your attention. Please welcome Mr. Cha. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I will present to you about the best practice of e-government in Korea. Now, let me start with the business process system. Okay. Uh, yes, um, this is the, um, the, the first um, representative of e-government service is government business process system, which is called Onara BPS, which means whole nation's BPS. More than 360,000 central and local government civil servants can now administrate the entire policy making procedure through this system. So um, ultimately, this system has enabled a standardized work process in government sector. So it records decision making procedure and that has led to more responsibility in public administration and improvement of its efficiency. But the important thing through this system is that um, all government officers are using the same document format and same work process and same system. So um, therefore, it provides basic infrastructure and foundation for the government officers who are working with each other internally. So that's the, the true meaning of this system. And next is um, another um, e-government system which is called e-people, which means a um, comprehensive web portal that facilitates communication and conflict resolution between the government and the citizen. All government departments receive the civilians' complaints and policy suggestions through this system. So many administrations and government departments are using their own system to get the complaint, com uh, complaints from the general citizen, but they integrated into one system, so they don't have to have their own uh, window 
They have one single window. It provides the uh, general access to the general citizen to go to the government and say about their own opinion about the government. So this system increased a lot of accessibility to the general uh, public and also it uh, generated a lot of transparency through the government because the whole process can be checked through the this system and also um, the gov government officers cannot avoid their work because it's all showing into the web sites. So this web is opened in April 2005 and year 2006. Uh, entire governments are using this system and that, that provides an um, average process period. It took about 12 days before it's opened. But now uh, in year 2009, the, the days of the taking process period is uh, uh, reduced down to 8.8 .8 days. So um, moreover, the public administration has become more efficient and uh, reduced down the redundant work. So it gives a lot of uh, efficiency in the government. And next one is um, information network village, which is shortly called INVIL in Korea. Um, in information network village project is one of the main projects raised in the middle of 80s, focusing on remove the digital divide stemming from the rural informa informatization initiatives. Through boosting up the rural economy that in enables informatization and removing the digital divide. This project aimed to improve quality of life in the rural area and then raise community income in the rural area. Particu particularly because um, it provides the website to sell their own product in the farming area and the fishery area. So in boosts boost up the economy of the rural area and also the uh, o ordinary farmers and fishers increase their own resident income through these websites. So um, this service um, received uh, UN United Nations uh, Public Service Award in year 2011 for its innovativeness. And next one is on e-government service for citizen. It's basically a um, primary example an online civil service portal. Through this service, uh, civilians can apply and then take care of civil service through online. Therefore, in Korea, if someone can access to the internet and has a printer in their home, then he or she may have government certified document through the internet. Before it was created, the people had to go to the visit the several administrative agencies personally for civil services. But now, through this web portal, about 3,000 kinds of civil services can be done through this website. And the other one is immigration control system. Uh, the, this immigration control system in Korea, through this system, handles the entire immigration process electronically. After analyzing passenger information in advance, we use it to support fast and more accurate immigration control process. So automatic immigration gates is located in the airport or port. Part of the control system reduce immigration control processing time. So for Korean citizen has got the ele electronic um, passport and they only took about 10 to 15 seconds passing the uh, immigration. So this raised general citizens' convenience and enhanced government efficiency a lot. Finally, um, I will briefly give you an introduction on government integrated data center, which is called the GIDC center. Korea has built the center to combine and manage more than uh, 1,200 systems from 43 government departments. 
Through the data center, non-stop integrated IT management became possible. Meanwhile, integrated security system was adopted for its security. Additionally, building and operating costs notably get lower and through the bulk purchase of information resources and also integrated operation and etc. Moreover, it is uh, very important to achieve Korea's current goal, which is government cloud service. Since we believe the cloud service and big data and IoT are very key technology for future government, so this is the, one of the major um, um, important part of the government e government, uh, government for e government. Uh, to wrap up, I couldn't mention a lot of services as below, but variety of e government services were recognized by several international organizations as a best practices. So as you can see, um, there are many awards are uh, given to those services. And let's talking about the future issues. Um, I mean the future government and what sort of government we need in the future. And then let me talk about the smart government. Um, we make new concept for the smart government because um, the smart civil society is coming and we believe the smart era is came already. And what is a smart government? Smart government can be defined as an advanced government promoting convenient use of government service anytime, anywhere, thus allowing active participation 